While you were praying fellow Americans don't fall for 4chan voter suppression ploys, you may have missed training your video game characters to play themselves, the self-driving scooter your grandpappy needs, and the Oregon Trail goes to the voting booth. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we hope voting in your polling place goes better than it does in the New York Times spin on the Oregon Trail, the Voter Suppression Trail. Take my advice, avoid Texas or Michigan in the game. Programmers winning again. He's just drinking his coffee. MIT's computer science and AI lab built an algorithm to autonomously navigate mobility scooters. You know, those things for elderly or disabled people that you might see in malls. The algorithm can respond to someone walking in front of it and can find its location on a map, which is pretty fantastic. Rather than concentrating on navigating a new scooter, this would let the user relax on their way to their destination. Or post on Instagram, let's be real. Next, I hope they test them in Walmart because rascals are for more than just pranks, kids. For him and himself and everybody around cause he ain't got That does look awesome. Google's DeepMind AI has already shown us a bit of its gaming potential when it beat the absolute pants off the world's best Go players. I'm still sad for them. Now the machine learning system is training for a new game, StarCraft II. Google and Blizzard Entertainment teamed up to create an API that anyone can use to build their own battling bots. The two companies hope it will spur users to develop not only new AI players for their own benefit, but help advance artificial intelligence research altogether. And while teaching robots how to play violent video games without humans may seem like a bad idea, we could certainly do worse than StarCraft. Shall we play a game? I could ask you that. How about mobile thermal nuclear war? And finally, an instructor at the Rhode Island School of Design hacked Amazon's Alexa voice servant, Alexa, to actually come out of my family's favorite white elephant gift, a big mouth billy bass. Currently in Cambridge, it's 45 degrees with showers tonight. You can look for rainy weather. You can hear Billy in the original Take Me to the River for just $24.99 online.